Is this as bad as it gets for most of it? <laughs> Dang it. What's up guys? So in this video, I, a noob at dirt biking, ride five miles of hell. So Sam somehow convinced me to go ride it. I've watched videos. I've actually edited some of the videos that Sam has done in riding five miles of hell. And he convinced me to do it. He needed an extra guy. We wanted to take the free ride down that trail and it's best if you have three dudes so to go or three people. So this is like my first real year of riding dirt bikes. I've ridden like around camp or short little rides here and there on other people's bikes. But this is the first year I've had my own bike and have been riding a lot more. So I'm pretty new to the sport. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and hopefully I don't die. This is it. That hill, all right? Yeah. Okay. This is five miles of hell. <laughs> it's official. I'm riding five miles of hell, guys. I probably shouldn't be. But Sam and those guys need an extra guy. Oh. A little sketched, but got it. That's it. Woo. Oh, I did it. I was like butter going up that sucker. Not that, that was much, guys. I'm sure you looked at that and said, that's nothing. Okay. <laughs> to use your legs like as balance and put them down whatever yeah yeah sit down and just go down on hold your brakes and just do this that's totally fine i'm feeling okay like i mean look, i feel you look pretty comfortable coming down i don't feel comfortable but like i am like okay i got this there you go. Woo. we're like 100 yards in i'm out of breath already <laughs> What? Here you go, baby. <laughs> oh, too high of a gear. I started to come off that. I'm like, I'm going to drag. I should have just went off of it. Yeah, you have a skid plate so you can drag. Oh. You guys are killing. See ya. That's the first bad part. Yeah.
He's going down, it's fine. He's going uphill. You want to switch, Will? You want to switch this? I don't know. Is it going to have a better low end? Yeah. Is that, is that going to freak me out, though, going a little faster? No, it doesn't go faster. It just doesn't die. It just doesn't flame out. That's the, where I get in trouble. Yeah, because if, if you get nervous, you just shift up. Does that make sense? And then it... With this black thing. Dude, pop on this and just try it. Woo! Going down, I'm fine. Okay. It's just going up. Thank you, Will. Yeah, no problem. I can try that bike. I don't know. Yeah, I think well, they just crawls. These kind of. What I can do, Rich, you want me to get you past this? I think I can get up some of it. Well, so the key is not to look at that that section. Just ride straight up. So if you want me to ride, I'll ride it. I don't know. Up to you. I can try it. You don't mind me dumping your bike. Yeah. Do I dare to do this? So, I mean, just on that part, I felt so better. The key with this, because it's fuel injected, if you have the throttle even open a little bit, it'll stay on. So you can use this. You can just go ah 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 ah. ah. So you don't even have to move your throttle. So when you're going up something technical, you literally just pull your clutch in, ah ah ah, and it'll keep it running. Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah, I can. I'll try. So when you're just going up, like just try like on the flats when it's like easy to have the throttle open and then just. You just kind of modulate and pull the clutch in a little bit and you kind of hear it ah, ah, ah. and that's yeah. the same thing because it won't literally will not die if it's you got throttle open yeah. and you're just it'll climb that 
It'll yeah. flip over. That's how good it is. Yeah. Well, dude, on that one, I on that little corner, I like you I mighty. did okay. But what I did was I just looked straight down and didn't look ahead, so it didn't trip me out. And I just followed the line just fine, and it Whatever worked out worked. great. <laughs> <laughs> that was catchy for me. I think if I just get my momentum, I can do it, but then it sketches me out. Keep looking over it till you get nervous. Can't look. Whoa. Oh, I just cracked my nuts. That hurt.
I don't know. Do I need it? Can I just use momentum or do I need a wheelie up? Nope. Just use momentum. <laughs> <laughs> you probably had that. I don't know what happened. Well, I kind of wheelied, I guess, and I got nervous. I think you smacked it pretty hard and I did wheelie it. Well, I guess it's easy from here. With the two stroke! Man, you lugged up that! I know! <laughs> uh, you guys need some water? Yeah, I could get some water. Yeah, I'll let you ride this one.
pulling the clutch. Those jumps past me. Like you get stuck in there, pinched. Try and go. line I could have took on that but whatever it worked I did it! Here we go guys! Give her hell, huh? Probably the better way to do it.
That's so scary. Huh? Not scary, but you just go for it, you know. Yeah, you just trust in the suspension. Yeah, well, just keep the momentum pointed straight down. That's all you gotta do. Like on this sucker. Yeah, I'll go down and film you coming down this. Where am I going? I don't think I'm supposed to go down this way, but sure. No, but if you got a line. I don't know. It kind of drops off. Here, yeah, I'm going to try to... I sure are sticky. So we're coming up. This is the crux. So uh, I probably won't be hitting it. It'll be interesting to see how the free ride does on it. But this is the gnarliest section right here, guys. Here we have it, the crux. Beginning of the crux. just willies up that whole sucker. That. Oh, now I tipped it over. <laughs> Dang kickstand. Richard's made it through this, so. Yeah, I did coming up there. Yeah, dude, you rolled straight up it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably want some water. Sure. 